Hi, in this video, I'm going to demo the new features of the Web MIDI console. The previous version of the Web MIDI console simply displayed MIDI messages received from inputs. This new version, in addition to displaying messages received from inputs, will also let you send messages to outputs. And I'd like to thank Geert Bevan um, because this new functionality takes um, a lot of inspiration from his recently released um, send MIDI command line utility. All right, so let's have a look at the interface. In this top text area, that's where you'll see uh, MIDI messages received uh, from inputs. In this lower text area, that's your terminal interface where you can send messages to outputs. And on the right side, you see a list of available inputs and outputs, as well as some uh, keyboard shortcuts for the terminal. Okay, now let's look at the terminal commands. If you run the help function, you'll get a list of commands. Um, it's very similar to send MIDI. You select a device as the first call, and then you can start um, sending messages to that device. Um, so let me uh, demo this a little bit, and I'm going to send a couple of note on messages to the um, DIN 4 port on my MIDI interface, which I've connected to um, an anode synth. So we'll send note number 52 with a velocity of 127. Once we hear that, we can raise it an octave, and so on and so forth. Um, now let me show some CC examples by using this Live Admin and Bluetooth controller. Um, I'm going to turn it on and connect it up. And we've got the blinking blue light, which means it's not connected, so I need to connect that. We should see it turn um, to green, um, which we've got green here, so it's connected. And over here in this list of inputs and outputs, we see that Live Admin and Bluetooth is now available. Okay, so we'll do device livid minim bluetooth and um, to change the pad colors you send cc messages on channel 15 so we do dot uh, ch15 and then we do cc10 which is the lower left pad and we can send it a value which will make it blink um, kind of a pink and green color we can change the upper right pad by sending um, CC value of 17. Um, now let me quickly demo the remote script execution feature. Um, so if you have a number of commands that you like, you can save them in a script and execute it remotely. Um, and an example of that is you do, it's called exec, and you need to define your script in a very specific format. So you have an invocation of a user commands function, which itself takes a function which has all of your device um, device message commands. So I'm going to copy that URL and go back to the MIDI console, and we're going to execute this. Um, and this should um, send control change messages to all the pads and make them blink. Um, and so there you see all of the pads start blinking. Um, so that's a really quick tour of the new functionality in the Web MIDI console. Um, hopefully it'll be a helpful testing tool for you as you explore MIDI functionality. And uh, thanks for watching.